Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 9, HTML5 and Forms. Lesson 9.7, Video and Audio. HTML5 introduced a new tag for videos. To insert a video into our web page, we can do this. Video SRC equals the file name of our video that MP4 and the closing tag video. So the video tag in HTML5 was meant to allow our browsers to display our videos. The video formats and codecs. The most popular video formats are MP4 or MP4, FLV or Flash, OGG, and AVI. A newer format is WebM. These file endings that MP4, that FLV, that OGV, and that AVI and WebM are not actually a single file. They are known as container files. That's because a video is a combination of separate files such as the video itself and the soundtracks. There will also be files for synchronizing the video with the sound, the aspect ratio, the language, video title, and a whole lot more. The HTML5 audio. If we only want sound and no video, then the new audio tag is the one to use. The HTML is similar to the video tags in that we specify a list of audio file formats. The audio attributes. We can add some attributes to the audio tag. We have the autoplay the loop, the controls, and preload. For a complete list of codes and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.